Hello heroes, it's Dr. Zeno with Whitney Zeno. And here for Instagram, there's hey. my wife, so we can't get her in the whole picture. Um, if can I turn this sideways, do you think would happen? Oh, like once it's going, maybe it'll work. Oh, that worked. There but everybody's gonna be like it's sideways. Oh. Yeah, so just do it the other way. Just yeah. All right, with 15 minute fuel, we're just in 15 minutes a day for your mind, your body. And your future. All right, there you go. Well, this is just it's just a huge, exciting day for today. It's it's exciting and sad and a close to one chapter, but yeah. then the exciting beginning to another one. Uh, so if you're watching this right now on Instagram, if you go to our Facebook, uh, the, uh, Dr. Zaino, that's the fan page, Dr. Z is in zebra, A-I-N-O, or our YouTube channel, uh, Dr. Zaino, uh, we have the We Are Heroes show. So today was the season finale of We Are Heroes. It was over, it was 50, 50 episodes starting from a very hazy don't know what's going to happen in my life mm -hmm. or our lives right so but we went on it so we just followed our heart we knew there was something we didn't know what it was we kind of i got a little bit of an idea what it was a little bit of a taste or a direction of this is this i believe we all crave to be heroes and we just went on that we mm -hmm. i went on a definition an idea yeah. an idea <laughs> and we really went at it small idea that developed into something something tangible. amazing yeah. yeah so intangible and it created into something massive in only 17 weeks so it, it's this is not this I'm not doing this I'm just saying that you guys could do it too you know what I, what we the show is 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 to leave a blueprint of me putting my butt out mm -hmm. there taking the risks getting scared seeing the unknowns you know taking the risk to go out there to leave the blueprint so you know you could give yourself permission to do it like this wasn't like the dr zeno show i just want to see that listen i was scared the whole entire way so now that you see just to show you like i went at it i i put energy into it mm -hmm. I, I all the all the success things we've talked about i envisioned it i saw it i didn't know what was next but as i put energy into it and mm -hmm. sought it and got, say, let's I build a hero keynote and work with all the people, get thought leaders in my life. The doors open up. Cr yeah. Amazing. Fast. Mm -hmm. too. Yeah, yeah. Very quick. Mm -hmm. So this is not luck. There's no luck involved here. So any, any of you watching this, which you saw in episode of the season finale, when we recap everything, I want you to understand that that's you. Mm -hmm. You know, the thing is, I believe that all of you were born with seeds of greatness and you're capable of doing heroic things. So what you saw happen in 17 weeks, that's you too. And there's no reason why it wouldn't be. And to show you that it's never perfect, there's bumps in the roads, it gets scary. You know, you're supporting, you, you know, we just, it took finances and expenses and all these other things, but it was so worth it because it was exciting again. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. So this is where we followed our heart. We had something in our heart and we followed it. And when we hit resistance, we didn't stop. And that's what we'll talk about today. And we course corrected and, and the doors opened, but we just followed our heart because following our heart was made way more exciting, fun, energetic. Uh, we started doing the 15 minute fuels. So all this stuff happened. And look, and, and really relatively a very short time. Very it felt, short. It felt yeah. forever though. It felt like a long time, <laughs> but when we look back and say, yeah. wow, that was just four months. It's yeah. crazy to see what's come about so it may have been a season finale but it's not the end well, of the journey season one yeah it's yeah, just season, season one, one of many seasons so because yeah. Yeah, some of you guys if you're watching on Instagram uh, if you ever heard or Facebook uh, Facebook you guys know that I talk about the reverse bullseye principle I know uh, ginger is on here so she she's gonna I said it's not copyrighted so she could use it for now but the reverse <laughs> bullseye is this in the bullseye there in the in the center there's that bullseye that's the first goal. So that's this vision. This, this is the, 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 the 50 episodes took us through the, the center of the bullseye, right? So during that center of the bullseye, it's a small ring. You have to go through experiences. You have to grow as a human being. You, you, you take the wins, you take the losses, you take the experience, but then you gain so much wisdom, insight, and understanding that now, you know, now, now when that completes, now you're ready to now pursue the bigger ring. And then you go through that journey, and then the bigger ring. So this is you could have you could have one you, you could have one vision and purpose in your life, and it has multiple rings. So you cannot skip rings. I noticed that. So we got to start here. The time could be different. So here's a ring. We hit the, the the center ring. Now the next the next season will be the bigger ring, and then the bigger ring. I told when he like the outer ring is like Oprah, and mm -hmm. we're doing something. You know who knows what that'll be at that point, but it'll be yeah. exciting. So uh, this is. A, Center done. We're going to move to the next ring probably in a couple months, and I'll let you know what it'll be. All right, so because our batteries are powering down, let me go over uh, what's going on. So today we're going to talk about, hey, Roberto, good to see you. See, Roberto's on Instagram. Hey, Roberto, look, 
Winnie's on here hey. too. All right, so today we're going to talk about, uh, and also what today is, we I've been doing the One Month to Win series for you guys, and today is also the end of the One Month to the Win. So as romantic as it sounds, you know, today's the season finale, and this is the end of one. I didn't plan any of it, just to let you know, it's not been planned. None of the none of the We Are Heroes was planned either. See, nothing nothing was scripted. So it just shows you it was just real life. Real yeah. time, real life. Mm -hmm. So today let's talk about really the most important thing. You know, you have goals, you have dreams, you have desires, and the only way you're gonna achieve these is if you invest, all right? So now this time where you take the invest, now you, you, you need to invest in the coaches, you need to invest in the books and the programs and the tools, and you need to spend, spend that time creating a support system. But the kicker is, Spending the money and getting the coaches and getting the books and programs, that does not equal your success or reaching your goals. Because how many of us, including myself, have books and programs on my shelf that I never opened? So it takes the action and it takes the, the, the commitment to it. So I really think that one of the part of the hero sauce, so to speak, is you got to put relentless, unapologetic commitment into that goal. And this is, we, we talked about the last two episodes being obsessed about it, being irrational about it, and being intolerant about it, right? Mm -hmm. That's how you be, so I can tell you. So you and can, you have been with your time. Yeah. You've spent a lot of time yeah. and effort and energy, and, and that's what made it successful in such a short amount of time yeah. because, you know, if you would have just taken your time and done it a little bit slower, that first ring may have been yeah. one year, you know, but yeah. you just took action as quick as possible, and it's... Yeah, and you awesome. got to take the action as quick as possible and, and go for it. And the thing is, all of you are worthy of success. You just need to be relentless about it. Go for it all out. Don't hold back. I was talking to Roberto. He's on Instagram right now. Um, I told him that if we didn't work hard and if we didn't prepare, see, if you'll see like the unknown happen, right? Like, hey, Dr. Z, can you speak in two weeks? Or, hey, can you speak at my seminar, Dr. Pampa? I was like, mm -hmm. hey, can you? we want you to speak. We were going to do one talk and they're like, hey, can you do the lunch for our VIP members? Which was like, these people were multi, I mean, like they were big, big, uh, big time spenders. So I was like, you know, but if I wasn't prepared, if, if we didn't prepare, that opportunity would have came. And if I'm not prepared for the opportunity, I would have lost. Mm -hmm. Will Smith said the same thing. They said, how do you prepare for a role? He's like, I'm always prepared. He goes, well, how do you get motivated for a role? He's like, I'm always motivated. So he's ready just like a star, he's ready. Mm -hmm. And we gotta be ready, so we're always preparing. We're always keeping our skills sharp, because then when the opportunity comes, that's when opportunity and preparation meet, and that's what seems like luck. It's not, you're yeah. just ready for it. So you, got, you just it's being relentless upon your vision. And when you have that vision, have the vision be so strong and so powerful. Remember we talked about visualizing, but not visualizing, but, but dreaming like a kid, and when you see it happen, you visualize, that to the point where it has a visceral reaction. I got emotional because my brain and my soul feels it already happened. So that was the motivator. So when things are rough, when things, Roberto, he's on that, like when, when my talk wasn't very polished, when, it, when I would make mistakes, it's like I visualized being on stage, doing great, the crowd cheering, everybody doing well. So that, that I, the, 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 the vision becoming completed was the pull that made me work hard. Well, and I think that's awesome because a lot of times it's so easy for people to get inspired by other people. Yep. Like I'll watch other people speak or other people do things. I'm like, oh, that's so amazing. But we don't take the time to create the vision for ourselves and be inspired by ourselves. So I think that that's yeah. super powerful. So becoming relentless is becoming like a three-year-old child. Well, actually, when four I- Four-year-old now. Well, he's four. <laughs> <laughs> so even justice, he's 10 and he's relentless, right? Yeah. yeah. So it's we just like, kids. he doesn't stop. And that's why he's a closer. He, he goes over and over and over again. He doesn't, he doesn't quit. And he closes mm -hmm. us how many times? 99.9% .9 100% of the time and he goes and that's not because we're weak no people, you know? just like cheese or right. Yeah, yeah. But, but here's the thing. I want you guys to understand this. Um, how come we're not like that anymore, right? We had that. Mm -hmm. And the reason why we're not is because we were told uh, to hush down, don't say a word, don't speak up, mm -hmm. don't speak back, do this, do that, and all these other things. So we were conditioned to take that, to take that, no, like we take no for an answer and we buckle. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, and we don't go. So we'll literally let someone say no and get in the way of our dreams. Yeah. Um, in, one of, in episode 20, 
24, or no, no, I don't know. It was not 24. It's probably when I was in Colorado Springs, there was that speak off. And when he was there and the three minute, and after three minutes, they would email you saying you made it to the finals. And I had vision making the finals. I got a custom shirt made because I get, that's how vision I get. Like, this is the shirt I'm wearing. It's going to be, it's going to be this, this black with red. Like I had it, it's so clear. Down to the belt. Down to the shoes. belt. And you yeah. didn't even see the belt. That was the thing. <laughs> and the shoes, because it, it was all make, because you want to make your vision where you could, you could use, you actually vision and have all your senses there. I see it. I could feel it. I know that I know the type of shirt I was wearing, I, the lights, I feel the heat, I feel, you know, the I could see it so it, get, it comes so crystal clear and I feel it. And so when I didn't get that email because they forgot to give me the email by mistake, I even told Whitney I was sad, but I was confused because I told Whitney this isn't how the vision goes. Like it was like I was almost and like you honestly were like that. Like that is yeah. how it was it was weird. It's like you weren't upset. It was like it was a confused. It I was, was like, like I read the book. Mm -hmm. And this, it didn't go this way. So I was so believing in, in the vision. I was like, I, the chapter didn't go this way. I already read the book and the, the, the movie, it's like watching a movie you've seen before and be like, wait a second, it's different. And because you get so focused and, 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 why, and then literally hours later, I made it in. So it was, it was part of it because I knew, but see all that wasn't because I had wishful thinking. we just had prepared and prepared. We knew we were, we were ready for that. Um, Napoleon Hill did a study. And this is why we've got to become childlike. Napoleon did a study where he found that most people, when they have a dream, a goal, or a desire, or an idea, that they talk themselves out of it to the point where they don't even get started. So how many of you have a goal, a dream, a desire, an idea, and you don't even start because you talked yourself out of it? So the fear got in the way. And then the second group he talked to, they started, the goal, they started to go for their goal, and the one time they hit resistance, they quit. And unfortunately, he said that was 95 to 99% of those groups of people. So it just shows you my four-year-old, our four-year-old, if you have kids, they don't stop. But as we got older to, to obey, don't listen, don't confront, hush up, one no, one resistance, you're like, yeah, we give into the secret that, identity. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything you want to say about that? Well, so far. Yeah. So just, <laughs> uh, so the whole thing is just being relentless. And that means just uh, you don't stop. And I always use actors like Stallone. And just when you hear the stories, the Kentucky Fried Chicken guy, he went to, you know, 1,500 banks. And, you know, Stallone went to 1,500 people. And they're like, there's not 1,500 agencies. He's like, yeah, I went to some of them two, three, and four times. Like, because I, I, I get it. In their mind, they're like, well, this wasn't how it's supposed to go. Like Colonel Sanders was like, no, my, like they, they were so sold on their, not on themselves, on their vision that when it wasn't happening the way they saw it, it was confusing to them. Mm -hmm. So they're like, well, it's, that's not the way it's supposed to be. So they kept on moving because they're like, well, it's probably not yet. Mm -hmm. And that was just amazing. So I, I pray and implore you guys to get to that point where you believe in yourself and your vision to the point where it's so great and you feel it so much that when you hit the resistance, it's like, okay, and you push it to the side and you keep on going. And when people say that's irrational, that's obsessive, you're like, well, okay, and then you just, like that doesn't stop you. Just like a four-year-old, mm -hmm. they don't stop. They they just keep on going until they get it. So, what would happen in the case that okay, let's say that they you didn't get that email and they were like, no, you didn't make the cut. Like, what's the? Because some people will come yeah. against that or just like still yeah, got yeah. rejected. So, what do people do in that instance whenever they they get rejected and it's not what they thought it was going to be? That's a great question because I had to go through that mourning process. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I went through the process. I'm like, well, the market didn't want the talk, right? I went through the whole self-talk. Yeah, so I'm you like, said you were going to go back to the... I said, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to meet with Roberto. And uh, we're going to, you know, if you guys, you're like, who's this Roberto guy? Roberto, I <laughs> just speaking coach that is, I mean, he knows me too. It's like you have, a, he's a, it's a coach cleaner relationship. If you don't know what a cleaner is, get the book Relentless. You'll understand. A cleaner is like a Michael Jordan. Or so, just like, you know he brings the best out of you and he makes you the best you could be. He makes the best even better. It's a very hard, it's a very hard goal. It's easy to take someone who's, who, who, who is raw talent and make them better, but it's tough to take the best to make them even better. That's, that's like, that's a, that's a talent that he's got. And so I said, okay, well, the market clearly didn't like it. So, but I knew the vision was there. I was, I just believed in this so much that I'm like, I'll just go back. I was going to delete all my files on the computer Everything, no, no, seriously, start from scratch and build it again. 
I was ready to tear down the house and build it again, but the option of quitting was not there. It was just not gonna, and it's not because I was tough and I was disciplined and I psyched myself up. It just, in almost like a, almost like a kid way. Mm -hmm. I was like, well, that, that's not the way it was supposed to happen. And all right, well, I guess I'll do it again, but there was no stopping, you know? So whether it took, I mean, you know, whether it took a hundred miles or 4,000 miles or, or a, a, a hundred days or a thousand days, it was just, I just wasn't going to quit on that vision because I just felt it was something, it was something beyond, it was something that I, that we felt meant for. And if you're sitting there, well, how do I know I meant for it? It's, it's been the, it's, you already know what it is. Mm -hmm. Every, all of you watching this, you know what it is. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You just got to remember it because when I realized it, I looked back at my entire life. It's, it's been the theme of my life for 40 years, but I was blinded to it because of that secret identity. Or maybe it took me 40 years and now I was ready. Maybe at 30, I wasn't ready to deliver it, right? So yeah. maybe it could be, I'm learning this with you guys as well. So you get to the point, you embrace it, and then you say, listen, this, this is what I'm going to do and I'm going to be relentless on it, which is unshakable. And no matter what hits you and comes your way, it's not, a, it's a learning experience. It's never a loss. It's never a failure. Yeah. If you want to end on that. Yeah. All right. That. So we'll close it out. This is a good one today. So thank you guys so much for, uh, you know, I mean, we're not ending 15 minute fuel. <laughs> it's like, what? no, we're not ending 15 minute fuel. Oh, so no, no. What, it, what it comes to this is 15 minute fuels will still be going on daily. And you know, on the weekends, we'll be doing some good things. We're still doing this every single day. That's my commitment to us. This is, we're still documenting the journey. Uh, the way our hero show will probably pick up. I'm thinking mid September, October. All right. Cause we're you know, we got, uh, we're going Someplace in July, we're going to, you know, Justice Says Karate in July. We're going on our sabbatical in August. So we'll be kind of out of the pocket a little bit. But I'll still be doing the 15-minute fuels for you guys. But thank you guys so much. And, uh, you know, it, it will be help if you want to just message or comment. Say, what are the things you liked about the show? What things you would like to see in the future show, season two? We're going to go for the bigger ring, right? We're going to go now even bigger, bigger, uh, um, bigger reach in the world. Uh, what are the things you're looking forward to? You know, we don't, we don't create the content it's documenting but we could show more things remember there's there's 16 hours in a day that we're up shooting things and jacob had to edit it down to five six minutes so he looked at all the footage so if there's things you like hey we like more of the kid family stuff or we like the workout stuff because i know there wasn't a lot of workout stuff near the end uh whatever that stuff was just let us know what you like and I will definitely put it in there for you guys as well. well uh, and also, before we go, I just want to tell you that I'm super proud of you. And you did really awesome. And no, now we're going to both cry. <laughs> but um, it's been amazing to see like what you've done in such a short time. And just like everything else you've done in your life, I'm really proud of you. And I'm excited to see what the yeah. next ring is going to be. Yeah. So it's going to be awesome. So that's my CEO. <laughs> so uh, if you saw that quote, we'll end with this quote. It said, when love and skill uh, come together, <laughs> there's a masterpiece. So thank you guys so much. We'll see you soon.